Good morning my girl. Last chapter, I introduced, Henry VIII, fall in love with Catherine Howard. First, Catherine of Aragon. Second, Anne Boleyn. Third, Jane Seymour. Fourth, Anne of Cleves. And fifth, this Catherine Howard. In between, many girlfriend, and illegitimate children. When, Henry VIII started stay with Catherine Howard, Henry was, 50 years old. Catherine was, not sure, but maybe 18 years old. Can you imagine my girl? Like a, father, and daughter. But, tragedy was not there. Although he was 50 years old, he was pure, like a boy. And, although she was just 18 years old, Catherine was already very matured. She had already, ex-boyfriends. Not only one, but over three in record. Actually, although her family was aristocracy in England, not rich, poor. So, her environment was also, comparatively free, and easy. One of her boyfriends was, music teacher. Henry Mannox. Image of music teacher is, not like modern days, something like, girl gone crazy for musician. Indeed, she was 13 to 14 years old. Second boyfriend was, Francis Deerham. Indeed, Catherine was living with many people, in one single house. And situation was, massive mess. Many boys, and girls, on and off, on and off. Deerham visited her, after she became queen, and begged for job. And, without any consideration, Catherine allow him to be her secretary. And last man, was Thomas Culpepper. Close of Henry VIII. Culpepper sometimes helped Henry VIII, to change his vantage on his leg. He was, typical playboy. He tried to do something wrong, on garden keeper's wife, in palace. And, killed someone, who tried to stop him. He was handsome boy, and popular among maids in palace. At that moment, Henry VIII forgave Culpepper, and released. So, he was favor of Henry VIII. And, relationship, between Catherine and Culpepper was ongoing, after she got marriage with Henry VIII. It was silly, and fatal mistake of them. Remember, Anne Boleyn was, executed by fake information of her adultery. And, one more person related with Anne Boleyn involved. Sister-in-law of Anne Boleyn, Jane Boleyn, Viscountess Rochford. When, Anne Boleyn was executed, Jane did crucial statement about Anne. And, because of her statement, Anne has been confirmed to be guilty. We don't know, the reason why, but, it was true that, Jane bridged over Catherine Howard, and Culpepper to be a couple. Behind, there is conflict between Catholic, and Protestant. Remember, Anne of Cleve was, Protestant. So, she was safe. But, Catherine Howard was, Catholic. And, Protestant group try to send spy, as a maid, to Catherine Howard. Mary Russell, and unfortunately for Catherine Howard, she was made of her, before she marry with Henry VIII. So, Mary said, I do not want to work under her, because, I know her well. Then, people recognized her behavior, 
before she became queen. They reported this gossip to their boss. This is, Thomas Cranmer, leader of the English Reformation, Archbishop of Canterbury, actually, Cranmer wanted to kick out his political rival. Thomas Howard, 3rd Duke of Norfolk. He was uncle of Anne Boleyn, and also, uncle of Catherine Howard. He occupied trust of Henry VIII, due to his achievement in ex-battle. And, he was Catholic. After Cranmer obtained evidence of Catherine behavior, he recognized, it was unbelievable chance for Cranmer to remove Norfolk family. He produced anonymous report, and placed on the throne of Henry VIII. Once, Henry read up this report, Henry was burst anger. And, asked Cranmer to probe. Of course, Cranmer already discovered bad behaviors of Catherine Howard. Cranmer reported to Henry VIII that, unfortunately, it is true case. Henry VIII lost his control, and shout, give me sword, I must kill her. Although he had many ex-wives, girlfriends, Catherine Howard must be, a pure girl before him. So selfish, and egoistic. But, you can see similar case, even now. Old, and rich guy, fall in love with young, and attractive girl. But, she was not pure as he believed, and had another boyfriend still. And, Jane Boleyn also be caught because she supported their affairs. And finally, all of they were executed, one by one. Historical record says that, the last words of Catherine was, I wanted to die, as a wife of Culpepper, rather than as a queen. She was in poor family, and not have sufficient education, guide to be a lady. But, Norfolk Thomas Howard asked her to serve in palace. And, just by the chance, Henry pick up her as his partner. She was also one of victim in the history, I think. But, history repeats itself. Eventually, Thomas Cranmer also executed by Queen Mary. Because, he was Protestant. It is later topic. Anyway, Tudor dynasty is history of ugly conflict done by human. After this case, Henry VIII paid much more attention on his political management. Ironic, this period was, most remarkable period for him as a king. He established strong alliance relationship with Carl V. And, conducted a war between France, and Scotland. This portrait was, when he was 51 years old. Already abnormal. Absolutely, obviously, definitely, abnormal. Indeed, due to his tumor on his leg, almost he could not walk by himself. But, still he was king. If, one increase power, he eliminates its power, and make it even. When Henry was 51 years old, he proposed one lady to get married with him. This was, Catherine Parr. Last Queen of Henry VIII. Actually, Henry did not expect much on her as a wife. Rather than his health helper. Indeed, she had married two times before, and both, separated by death of husband. She did not have children by these two times marriage, and Henry did not expect to let her deliver baby. Her mother was a maid of Catherine of Aragon, first wife. And, Catherine Parr was staying palace for the period. So, Henry knows her so far long. Indeed, she had boyfriend at that moment, 
Thomas Seymour, brother of Jane Seymour, third wife of Henry. Henry sent him to Holland, as a diplomat. And, Henry forced Catherine Parr to get marriage with him. Henry was 51 years old, and Catherine Parr was 31 years old. And this year, Henry VIII reviewed succession to the throne by new law. Edward was first, Mary was second, and Elizabeth was third. Catherine Parr begged for Henry to add, Mary, and Elizabeth in the list. This was, great job of Catherine Parr. She was nice to Prince, and Princess, take care Henry VIII well. Actually, she was Protestant, and due to her religion, sometimes in danger. But, she behaved carefully, and won the trust of Henry VIII, as well due to her supportive care on him. One time, King Henry asked Bishop's Gardner, about her idea. He said, an idea of Queen is heretic. Henry felt, he must execute her at once. Sign on paper for arresting her. After heard this news, Catherine Parr knee down, and asked King for help. King immediately forgave her. And few days later, King, and Queen was walking on garden. Catherine Parr was supporting him to walk. Then, Catholic officer come to catch Queen. Harry got angry, what a hell. What are you going to do my Queen? Henry totally forgot his signature, few days before. Really, like a joke. When, he was 55 years old, he recognized his last moment. 28th of January 1547, one of notorious king in England history passed away. His domination was nearly 40 years, and produced many chaos. However, his DNA won't last for next generation against his strong will. I am going to describe further story of Tudor dynasty. As the journey continues.